Well, our guest today says the educational outcomes of early childhood education equals hard dollars across our economy. Robert Duggar is a venture capitalist who has turned his attention to education and says the cost benefits show that early childhood education helps students get higher grades in school, contribute more in taxes, while also making them less likely to need welfare or head to prison. Our Andy Barth sat down with Robert Duggar at the 2014 Business Summit in Oklahoma City. Well, Dr. Duggar, we often talk about childhood education from a social aspect, but it's also an economic issue, is it not? Oh, there's no question about it, and it's about taxpayers. Because uh, right now, we are paying more for special education and more for infant health costs than we need to. We know that longer term, better school readiness, improved third and fourth grade reading scores, higher high school graduation rates, improved college uh, attendance, improved job uh, acquisition and performance, higher income levels. All of that shows that anywhere from 10 to 15 percent return from quality pre-kindergarten. Now we know that um, on the basis of specific financial transactions, not only is that long-term, those non-long-term numbers right, but we now know why. It's because the impact when kids are very young reduces special education assignment, improves their school readiness, and prenatal counseling improves infant health and the ability of mothers to be better mothers. So it's absolutely about economics, and it's particularly about reducing spending burdens on taxpayers. So how early do we start with our kids? What we know is that Oklahoma is an oil state. What we know about oil drilling is what you do at the very beginning matters more than anything else that happens afterwards. If you put the X on the right place in the ground, that's extremely important. Then you've got to aim the drill. If it's two degrees off, three degrees off, left or right, north or south, it'll miss. And once you begin to drill it, then if you find you've made a mistake, the cost of fixing the mistake is vastly more expensive than the cost of just doing it right in the beginning. So raising a young adult to be a productive member of the, of the workforce uh, is much like any of these production processes. If you do it right in the beginning, it saves enormous costs later on. So what we're, what we're learning <clears throat> over the last 15 years or so is that what happens prenatally, what happens in the first five years of life matter more than anything else you can increase kindergarten readiness by investing in kids prenatal to five. It's really simple. And so the misconception that um, teachers are responsible for getting our kids ready isn't all true. The parents play a vital role. Oh, absolutely. The uh, parents play, play, a vital, play a vital role. But look at this. If you have a state which is encouraging mothers and fathers to work, basically organizing the economic system so that mothers and fathers almost have to work in order to make a living. And that that state does not at the same time provide for adequate child care. What's it doing? It's crippling itself. It's crippling itself. And what we know is that a state like Oklahoma or my home state of Virginia actually cannot compete unless women are getting educated and uh, participating in the workforce productively also. So women and men both need to, to be educated and work effectively in order for the state to be competitive. So in order for that to happen, we've got to really invest in the ability of these young parents to be parents while they're both working. Well, Dr. Duggar, thank you so much. You're welcome, Andy. It's great to be here.